Hi everyone, are you ready? This is our tofu stew sinigang. Uh, this is uh, the origin of this is uh, the, the Philippines. This is a sour soup like uh, some of the Asian soups that you have seen. Thailand has got its own also. So here we have three fourth cup of taro cut up into pieces and six cups of water. We are boiling this ahead uh, since this is um, an online Facebook live event. So okay. We have also one fourth cup of carrots, one fourth cup of daikon radish. Here are our ingredients. We have snake beans, about a cup, of, a cup of that. We have two bunches of bok choy, cut up into two. And we have here one half block of tofu, plus um, Here we have tofu, half a pound, and half a block, sorry. This one is um, a pepper that you can find in Asian stores. I cut, I put a cut in the middle of it. Hi Michael Harris, thanks for joining. This is not hot, so we do not put hot pepper here in this particular dish. But of course you can, if that is exactly what your body needs. We have uh, glutinous rice dumplings, powdered glutinous rice flour with water. Okay, this is celery and carrot broth. This is dried wakame, one half tablespoon of that. A little bit of soy sauce, one tablespoon. Uh, one nori sheet cut up into pieces and this is a tamarind uh, mixture made out of tamarind paste and water okay have a look it's boiling now okay what's the next one to put I would like to put my glutinous rice dumplings we don't normally put this but this is my part of the dish uh, I'm putting, that is about one fourth cup of rice flour. Okay. We have also our snake beans. Okay. This, by the way, was uh, requested. This recipe was requested by a sentient vegetarian. Um, they do, sentient vegetarians um, skip some other ingredients. Um, we can. Uh, 
I had been a sentient vegetarian before. So I used to skip. Um, I don't put, uh, I did not put onion and garlic at that time. But now after, after some health challenges, I was led into this. I embrace everything. Okay, so when does the dumpling, when does it get cooked? When it rises up on top. This is half a pound, I mean half a block of tofu. You can put less or more depending on you. And of course, we have our wakame, dried wakame. And our broth. A little bit salt. And a little bit of soy sauce. Let's put the one tablespoon there. And our pepper and of course our nourishing this is a sour soup oh, and um, this is easy to cook. And here we are going to put some of our bok choy. Okay. Usually the glutinous rice flour dumplings are very easy to cook. Let's see. Yep. See that. I put this for the texture part at the same time when we normally uh, do this particular soup dish we use rice washings so we wash the rice and we don't put the rice in we just put the 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 water that we rinsed off the rice Let's put it, this all in. We are going to plate them very soon. With regards to soups, they the the veggies um, become so soggy when you leave them on the stove for a long time. So I am uh, putting this in.
let's put this in because this is actually a part of the dish some carrots so you can tweak this recipe according to what your body needs and mm, very simple not many spices just the tamarind and salt and a little bit of soy sauce if you have Bragg's liquid aminos please use it um, this is let me take that uh, dumpling no that's the taro That is good, the tar is cooked. Now the dumpling. Ooh, that's a soft, gooey texture right there. Mmm, silky smooth. If you need carbohydrates, it's a good thing to add. We normally eat this with rice. But to put these dumplings in there is, is a big help if you don't have time. We don't have time to cook the rice. Mm. Try this if you like the recipe. Go to patreon.com slash bo b h o e capital B small h o e capital C H E F capital J small U N E Bo Chef June. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. If you need the full recipe, give me um, give me your email, PM me, private message me in Facebook, and I'll hook. We'll we'll get hooked up. All right.